Uh, I think it was as much of trying to match up. And I know both coaches were playing cat and mouse in terms of getting matchups that they wanted. And um, I think that's for that third set, or yeah, third, third set or second set that you want. Um, second set where you got the matchups you wanted and made a difference. And then it kind of went back to their <clears throat> getting, the, it was both coaches really just shuffling and getting matchups with them. And then when, and then they actually in the fourth set when, um, I don't know, maybe the third one, they didn't have the, the matchup they wanted. They still then all of a sudden just rose to another level and outplayed you. Did you feel like it was hard to get much of an advantage, much of momentum, much of anything going against them, especially when you're hitting into one blocker that's six foot six? <laughs> Well, I think that um, we were playing adjust and they'd adjust, and then we were just trying to figure each other out. And on the second set, we were able to find their weaknesses and um, play well for them. But um, I think we struggled to gain momentum in the later sets because they were adjusting to us, and we were we needed to adjust more ourselves and find different shots that were going to work um, because they're a good team and they're able to react to what we throw at them. So we got to continue to throw different things. Well, you know, when you win a set and the momentum switches in a way, and of course in any, any match, I was, that third set is huge. It's a set that gives everybody the advantage. And I know that one's a hard one to lose. Do you feel like at that point maybe is when, when they probably started playing better overall for you than what they had? Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that because if you, I mean, if you look at the game last night, we lost the third set and we were yet still able to come back and overcome in the fourth. Um, we try to go into every set as a new set, um, not like letting the last one affect you. So I don't really think that played too Well, it, was there a point tonight it. when you felt like they finally had gained enough momentum to, to get into more of what they like to do? I felt like we were the ones that backed down, that they just kept doing what they were doing, and then we were the ones who backed down on the tack. We got stuck in a couple rotations, and we just couldn't side out, and those long runs in the middle of the set are what hurts you a lot. Yeah, it ultimately came to us um, struggling to side out a couple times, and then um, in that way, it, we started playing catch up instead of playing attack, and that's where we started to struggle. Your attack against them had to be different than what you had in the first two matches, though, because you were going up against a, a front line like that in either one of those first two matches. What was the biggest difference that you felt like you guys needed to execute? We t we talked about being creative because I mean, if you do look across the line, like six 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 three, yeah, they're they're big, but um, that doesn't mean that we can't find other ways to score. Um, and that's what we were doing, and that's why we were so successful in the second set because we were finding different ways to be creative and different ways to score um, shots, tips, throws, yeah, and stuff like that. Is it hard sometimes though when when you get a set and you're going up and still your mindset is just to knock the limit tar out of and try to get it through somebody? Yeah, that, that, that's always, everyone wants to bounce the ball, but it's just not reality at this mm -hmm. level. And our setters are great at giving us holes in the blocks and outsmarting their blockers, so it's not like we always have a mm -hmm. huge block on us. We can always find a spot where we can hit it straight down. What do you take from this? And I know you can't be, you know, satisfied because you get a set off them. I mean, that's good. I mean, that's the same old story every, I'm going back five seasons now. Seems like you know UNC usually punches a set on the CSU, but it doesn't amount to much. What do you, what can you take from this? Well, I think that we're a team ready to win the championship, and this is our practice for it. And just because we weren't able to beat them today doesn't mean that down the line we're not going to take this and get better at it. And so this is one step along the way for the Big Sky Championship. So we're ready to use it. Yeah, uh, we talked about in the huddle, Coach talked about we had some highs and lows and we just weren't able to uh, sustain the highs and I would say that's exactly true. I mean, we made some plays and had some um, rallies and um, like a couple points where we'd go on and like we'd see things of like, yeah, that's a championship team, but we just weren't able to sustain it tonight and if we would have, it would have been probably a different outcome.